Hello, welcome to Spurverts part one. I am here with Craig and Emma, and this week, first up, we are talking about the Swansea game and result. Get in! Yay! Get in! I was going to ask, are you happy? Get in. No, I'm really good. You seem pretty pumped. Seem Get pretty pumped. Um, positives, who, who impressed you? Danny Rose, Kyle Walker, did they impress you? Danny Rose being the hero, uh, I thought everyone kind of put in the shift. Toby Alderweireld, as usual. As usual. I think he was the unsung hero. Uh, Eric Lamella. You know yeah. me and my Lamella you know love, what? but I he, thought was the great. Was great. he was I great. He was great on great. Sunday. And of course, our captain, Hugo Lloris. I mean, the save he pulled. Yeah. I mean, oh. he let one in, but the save he pulled off against Sigerson. Yeah. The reflex Amazing. save was crazy. He keeps making saves that are as important as goals. Well, completely. We've just gone 2-1 up, and then he suddenly pulls one out of the bag, and he's had nothing to do the whole of the second yeah, half. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the sort of thing that win your matches. And he dare I say amazing. it. 34 titles. shots on goal at the other end of the pitch. Yeah. It just and shows our intent. 14 on target. More Most than any season. other, yeah. Both more of them are records, team. aren't they, this yeah. season? This yeah. season, no one's had more. Um, and it was only so... two goals. Fabianski. Fabianski. It does happen, though, against Guna. us, doesn't it? It does happen. Former Guna, and he had an absolute worldie. I don't remember him being that good when he was at Arsenal. He's not that Some good. of the saves that he was pulling out of the bag were Lloris esque. He was having a blinder, well, and it, really was. Was. it was starting to feel like it's going to. How, how many days. free kicks did Ericsson have, by the way? Oh, about also, five. Also, quality free kicks. I mean, the amount yeah. of quality <laughs> yeah. free kicks yeah. that normally. But he'd, Fabianski had like, he'd done his homework. He had done his homework. He, he went the he right way. He was not being embarrassed again. Completely. He had it nailed. It was very impressive from him. Um, which is very strange to say. He was definitely their man of the match. But I mean, I think you're right. I did feel, because it took, once it went past the hour mark, it was all good up until then. Once we got to 61 minutes and yeah. we hadn't scored, there was a tiny, annoying little voice in the back of my head that started going, I don't know if this is our day. I don't know if this is going to happen. Yeah. You know, I actually didn't get that this time. For once. I know it's that feeling. Players, I always get that feeling. The thing is, thank God, like the players clearly didn't have the same little voice yeah. in the back we of We saw the intent. Going. The intent was there. It they was, just kept knocking them in. <laughs> we were clearly playing well, especially going forward. Absolutely. And it did seem like, okay, well, we're going to have enough chances. But it did just seem like Fabianski's having one of those days where oh. we're not going to get ridiculous. through. ridiculous. And weirdly, it took two... Go it had the type of goals we scored were exactly the type it needed to be. Yeah. Oh, like completely. Kyle Walker having that shot that was going miles wide. Chandler, yeah. Chandler, 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 that beautiful finish, almost by accident. Completely. Uh, completely. And then Danny, yeah, just Rose, the corner, Rose for Rose. a body of, of people yeah. straight that, in. It's exactly. really interesting, actually, if you see like the kind of replay different angles, Fabianski literally did not see that ball until yeah. it was right in front yeah. of him. Yeah. It, it came through players. so many That's bodies, yeah. But Danny Rose had a great effort before, which he hit on the half volley. He struck it sweetly, and then he got fingertips to it, Fabianski, which was annoying. Also, that Harry Kane shot from miles out when there was nothing Thing on the yeah. cold round yeah. going into the sort of near post top yeah. corner that he's got to save on. He's tried a couple of those these seasons. I know, yeah. I like it. One of them's going to go in eventually. Also, I noticed Harry Kane, despite having a broken nose and wearing a mask, still plays completely fearlessly. You see when he crashed into oh the post. Oh my god, yeah. I had a heart attack and everyone when was he. Like, oh. yeah. But the fact he was just was he not. Was he's still going for that ball. Doesn't not ducking out of anything. No, we not. were all on the shelf where we were when because that was at our end in the first half when that happened when he clattered the post. Yeah. We all went, <gasps> oh my god. Yeah. Exactly. And then he just carried on. He lit, like didn't even. Bat an eyelid, and we're all going, oh, it's okay, he's okay, it's all right, mm. we can breathe again. The boy, yeah, he doesn't care. He's like, mask, no mask, broken nose, whatever. I did find it a whatever. bit weird that, like, Chelsea players get, like, a sort of a colourful mask. I know, yeah. I Harry wanted Kane to be had a see-through. Looks like he's doing a GCSC yeah. chemistry exam. <laughs> yeah. Are we, are we, yeah, exactly, are we yeah. not quite disappointed that we can get like you know a blue and white kind of Spursy one? Exactly, yeah. Like yeah. kind of a Spurs Batman type. Get the cockerel on it. Yeah. Um, Alan Curtis, Swansea assistant manager, says that we are the best team that they played. That's not hard, is it? Come on, we've been the best team this season. I don't care if Leicester's top, okay? Because <laughs> yeah. they've been playing counter-attacking football when they don't play on the front foot, and we play on the front foot, and we've got all the stats. So we've been playing the best football this season. <laughs> breathe, also, break, breathe, breathe. if a team has 34 shots against you, I mean, it's, it's pretty hard good. to argue. Yeah, and your keeper's man of the match. What could they do? You. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I will say, though, yeah. Andre Ayew was so annoying. That guy is oh. such... He's a good player, but he's just a, he's a menace, isn't he, in that midfield mm. all the time. I just felt like every time he got the ball, it was annoying me. But he was the only player. The rest of, the rest of them really didn't have anything to offer. Fair and it was enough. good to see Siggy. I like the fact Siggy had a couple of good free kicks. And we uh, were going, Siggy, he's still a yeardo. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, he's yeah, not exactly. going to score. Yeah. And then every time it's like, oh, mysteriously just went wide. Yeah. Oh, mysteriously just went over. Yeah. Yeah. Gilfie. 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 We know Gilfie. Gilfie. We know. Gilfie. Gilfie. Speaking of that, um, Fiorentina manager said uh, that we are one of the best teams in Europe. What did you make of the Fiorentina game in general? Excellent. Really, yeah. really excellent performance. I mean, I always thought when we got the away goal in the first leg that we would have no trouble dispatching them at home. But I think mm. the manner of the victory was, I mean, they just didn't, Fiorentina just didn't have a sniff. Yeah. There was never a moment where you were like, oh my God, I don't think that we're going to win yeah. this. It was excellent, yeah. excellent performance. Ryan Mason we was, Ryan was Mason superb, was honestly, he was. He had a good, he scored a goal, he had another great opportunity at the end where yeah. Chadley kind of flicked it in and he volleyed it. When, he, when I saw that, when I saw Chadley <laughs> flick it, it was right in front of me, flicked it across. 
when he struck it, I thought it was going in. I was so upset when it didn't go in. <laughs> but, you know, we still won. We still won. He, uh, he was great as well. And it's like, Emma, you were saying earlier about the difference in, in the Ryan way, Mason yeah. and Bentaleb dealing with Completely, because, you know, dropped. both of them, well, there's nothing you can do. They got injured. Yeah. Dyer and Ali came in and have been amazing. But Mason's really just got his head down, got on with it. When he's come back from injury, he's ready to go. Like, yeah. he doesn't mind Didn't when or how it. he's deployed. Bentaleb, we sort of feel, hasn't got quite the same attitude as far as that goes at the moment. I don't want to be overly critical yeah. of anybody because I know it must be difficult when obviously you're used to being effectively a starting player and then you're kind of relegated to a bit part. And they're young seems, as well. And they he are seems young. more frustrated he by it. He does seem more frustrated by it. And, and instead of thinking of it in the kind of we're playing as a squad rather than a, a first 11, he seems to be a bit kind of, oh, well, like, well, I've been dropped. And it's yeah. like, well, actually mm. now, you know, more than ever, we rely on rotation during yeah. matches as well as from match to match. And I think Mason's kind of got that a lot better quickly than speaking of, yeah. speaking of Mason I don't want to put a negative spin on it but I, I didn't it didn't sit right with me when we, we called him Ryan Mason one of our own I know he is one of our own but I just want it to stick with Harry Kane we need to come up with something new uh, for him no, come up with something new Tom Carroll as well no I want it just for Harry Kane Your issue and then we just come Harry up with Kane some... deserves his own solo yeah, yeah no because it, it feels that much more I feel like we sing it with more passion as well I feel like people half heartedly singing it for Ryan Mason some people like, oh, we never really yeah. sang it for Andros Townsend did we yeah well, no. There you go. Well, anyway, we beat Fiorentina <laughs> and we threw and now we've got Dortmund. Oh, what a tie. Yes. Oh, I mean, that is obviously an amazing yes. draw. What an incredible Such draw that is. Such an incredible draw. Are we going to win? Of course. Are we going to get through? I I maintain and I think over two legs we're capable of beating anybody. And, I've, and yeah. even Dortmund, who are a phenomenal side and it will be a terrifying, exhilarating experience when we go out to, yeah. uh, to Germany a lot of good players at next Dortmund. week. And they have got a lot of good players. But I just feel as long as we get an away goal, yeah. I think... They're there for the taking. I think we can beat anybody at White Hart Lane at the moment. The momentum is there. The mentality is there. We talk about it all the time. And the legs are there, as I think mm. Craig's mentioned on more than one occasion. The stamina levels of our boys, they can outrun anybody. Like, yeah. even against Swansea, 91st, 92nd minute, they're still go-go-going, still go going. even though the game is do you won. Think, do you think it's better that we got the away leg first yes. and then bring yeah, them home? Definitely. Absolutely. Yeah. We'd always Absolutely. choose that. There's always a worry, obviously, when you think, well, they can score an away goal. But for me, it's better to know exactly what you have to do and to be able to do it in front of your own fans. Okay. Yeah, yeah. On top of that, what I thought was interesting as well is when the draw happened, I think they were second in the league on 51 points and so was we. Yeah. Literally dead on, both second wow. in the league yeah. on 51 points, so it's finally poised. Although the, uh, the Bundesliga is not quite the Premier League because I think Dortmund is something like 14 or 15 points clear in second if it was in third. Oh, serious? Yeah. What's their goal difference? I didn't see that. I is it as good as ours? Have they got an away record like no, ours? No, 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 points no. from recovery I'm, positions what, like what, us? I'm, what I'm saying is... <laughs> Defence like us? Our, I don't know. Our, our achievement is yeah. arguably more impressive because the Premier League is strong in depth. And how much money yeah. you spend. Oh, Over the cool. course of four transfer windows, we have 50 million in profit. Thank you, Pochettino. I love you. So I guess you think we're going to beat them 10-0 over the two legs then? Oh, come on. 11. <laughs> <laughs> 11 nil. You wait for Craig's match here's preview the, of Dortmund. He's going to go 5-0, then 6 nil. Classic. Uh, Great. Uh, this has been Spurverts part one. <laughs> Let us know in the comments how you think we get against Dortmund. Are we going to get 11 over the two legs? Is that unrealistic? It is unrealistic. Uh, and join us in part two of Spurverts. We'll be talking about the huge week ahead. Uh, Ranieri mouthing off about Spurs for trying to big us up and get in our heads. Uh, how dare he say we're good. Rosen Lamella's sweet bants. <laughs> See you there. Hello and welcome to Spurred on TV. Now, in honour of Deli Ali's showstopper of a goal against Crystal Palace, I've compiled my top ten list 